The internet can be a pretty scary place, especially with so many scammers out there trying to do at least one of two things. Get your personal information, like a credit card or bank account number, or control your computer from a remote location. To avoid scammers, consider what's being asked of you. Don't feel pressured to act now. Instead, think before you click. In fact, think about these noteworthy scams. A pop-up says you have a virus and you need to install their internet security to fix it. When clicking on it, it will likely install malware on your computer. Microsoft or Apple calls you saying your license has expired or you have a computer virus they can help you clean. Multi-billion dollar companies don't make those kind of phone calls, but scammers will sure try to sound like them. Likewise, the IRS will never call you or send you an email saying something's wrong with your return. Any communication from them will be certified mail. Expect scammers trying to convince you otherwise during tax filing season because so many people still fall for this. A work-from-home job offer from an unknown employer sounds too good to be true because it usually is, especially when the paydays are huge, offering salaries around $88,000 and up. Never bank on that. And finally, the good old something-for-nothing classic Nigerian scam. Some newly rich person in Nigeria needs your assistance to help them collect a boatload of cash, and all you have to do is, you know what? They had you at cash. You should lose them at Nigeria. Delete it. So remember, huge corporations never phone you for personal information. Work at home job offers with massive payouts are always too good to be true. And most important, never feel pressured to make a quick decision online. Always think before you click.